Hello, today we're going to be making two Bucky Hypercubes. As always, our basic shape is a triangle made out of nine Bucky Balls, which uh, make it easy to build things because triangles are basic shape of architecture and everything else. You take four of the little triangles and put them together, you make a little pyramid. Here we have six pyramids all put together. This makes a Bucky Cube-like thing. Now, we're going to make another one. This is a large triangle made out of four triangles. Another large triangle made out of four triangles. We'll put them together. You get this shape. You take three more of that same shape. Put them all together. Fold it up. Together. And another Bucky cube like thing or diamond like, whatever shape that you prefer to call it. Here we have two of them side by side. The smaller of the two is 216 Bucky balls, larger of the two, 288. Now, what we're going to do is make the hypercube. To do that, you take out the corners using another little Bucky ball string. Okay, we took all six corners off. Now we're going to take out the middles. You see anywhere that you see the six middles, you take those out. Once you're all done, you'll end up with a shape that is something like this. Little cute, little, uh, still fairly square like almost, or diamond shape. Now, we're going to do the same thing on the other one. Take the corners. Corners. Obviously you have six corners to work with. Same as the other one. On the other one, however, uh, because it was a smaller shape, you had only uh, eight of the middles to take out. On this one, you're going to have twelve. So you're going to do them around the top around the sides and around the bottoms. So that's four on the top, four on the sides, four on the bottoms. You take all of those out and you're going to end up with shape like so. Remarkably similar to this one. Now we're going to actually make a little Bucky Hypercube. You poke in the sides just a little bit where the six go together on the tops and the bottoms. There we go. And you kind of jiggle it a little bit and they'll all lock in real good. So that makes this shape. And once you make this shape, you're going to push this end in. And when they snap in, you'll hear it. They're snapping in nice and tight. Now. Here's the shape that you end up with, which is what I call a small Bucky Hypercube. Now we're going to take this one. We're going to do essentially the same thing, but it's a little bit different process. So you poke in the sides and the top and the bottom all at once, and that makes like a almost a cube shape, which is kind of cool um, in and of itself. Now you take the pieces right here that are open and you kind of squinch them together. You see how I'm squinching them together? Like that. Like that. So that's four. Ah, see, and when I shift it a little bit, they all lock in. Now we're going to do the same thing around the top. I'm sorry that it has to be facing me, but it makes it a lot easier for me to do. Do it there. There, there, okay, now we're going to do the other side, there we go, and now it's all together. So now you have a very cool little structure, if you look closely you'll see a lot of internal structure as well as external structure on this, and they're two similar shapes but slightly different. They don't connect 
together. At least I've not found a way to make them connect together very uh, efficiently. However, if you do a bunch of these, you can make a very big, cool shape, and it actually develops a lot more structure when you do that. Same to this. You can actually stack them on each corner, each side, and make some very cool bucky shapes. So, enjoy it, and have fun playing with your bucky, and remember, it's not a children's toy.